Let's take a look at the steps involved to animate the removal of material as, for, as performed with NC machining. This technique could be used in other applications, such as if you would like to gradually reveal the inside of an object. We'll start with our block we want to machine, the toolpath, and a box we're going to use to move along the toolpath. Our first step is to take the box tool and change the number of segments along its length. So I'm going to change that from 1 to 30. The next step is to move the pivot point of this. So let's take it and look at it from another end. It helps to get these things lined up before we get much further. So I'm going to take the pivot, make sure my object snaps are for vertex and midpoint, and I'm going to move that to the end right about there. I have my pivot. Now I would like to move this entire object so that it lines up with the toolpath. This is not necessary, but it does make things a lot easier to get things lined up the way you want them. All right, our next step is to apply a path deform modifier to the box that's going to do the cutting. So we'll come into our modify panel and go down to path path to form. Next thing is to pick the actual path, which is this line here, and change it to the appropriate axis. As we change the value of percent, we can see it moving in and out. So let's bring that back to zero. And what I want to do is put the auto key on, come out to maybe key frame, let's say 50, and change the percent of progress of that box along to about uh, 100%. We'll change that to about 100% there. All right, so we see that that does the trajectory I want. The next step, we'll just turn off Auto Key, select the object, go to our compound object uh, list, and do a pro Boolean operation. And we'd like to subtract, subtract. And I'm going to pick the object I'd like to subtract from it, which is this object. And as we go along our timeline, you can see we're getting the result we want. And if you look at this closely, you can see it's a little rough around the corners here. So what I'm going to do is go back to my Modify panel, take a look at the operands, which are the box I started off with and the box I'm subtracting it from. I want to take a look at that. So we're going to take a look at the box and change the number of segments from 30 to 40 makes it a little better. We could go all the way up to something like 80. It's very smooth. And we'll just keep it there. Go back to our top item on the list. And we now have our simulation. So all we have to do at this point is bring in a something to represent our co cutter and some background. And let me just do that here. And you can now see that this goes along and does our cut. That's all there is to it. Thank you.